I want to talk about why fasting could potentially greatly improve your vision. Now, one thing you can do if you really want to figure something out, um, and if we're talking about what can improve your vision, you look at the opposite thing, what actually destroys your vision, okay? And one thing that destroys the vision is being a diabetic. When you're a diabetic, uh, there's four main tissues that are affected. One is the kidney, one is the heart, one is the nervous system, and then the eyes. So there's a condition in diabetes called diabetic retinopathy, which is damage to the retina. Also, there's a higher risk of getting glaucoma when you're diabetic, which is interocular pressure. So the inside of the eye has a lot of pressure, and that pressure causes a blockage on the little hole where the fluid should drain. So we don't get the drainage, and it backs up, and then the pressure destroys the nervous system. It's the number one cause of blindness. The retina is basically an extension of your brain. You have part of your brain sticking out in your eye that's collecting information and pulling it in there. So when you have a blood sugar issue, the excess sugar destroys the tiny vascular system that goes to the nerve. And it basically starves off the nervous system and you can go blind. Then we have other conditions of the eye like macular degeneration. Another situation where you're getting poor circulation in the back part of the eye and it's involved in a lot of different conditions. And even aging will cause degeneration of the macula. And then you have the cataract, which there's an opaque uh, white cloud on the lens of the eye. And this is also very common in diabetics and even pre-diabetics or people who have insulin resistance. So if a high amount of sugar in the blood destroys the eye and the vision, then doing the opposite and reversing that is going to improve your eyes in different aspects. And this is why fasting is so powerful because, first of all, you're normalizing your blood sugar, you're running your body on ketones, but you're actually improving your blood sugars. So anything that improves the blood sugars will help indirectly improve the different aspects of the eye. And when you're doing fasting, you're also going to kick your body into autophagy. Autophagy is a condition where your body is cleaning up old damaged proteins. Uh, whether it's floaters in the eye or scar tissue in the eye, this will actually help recycle damaged tissues and give you new tissues. And for someone to go on autophagy, you would have to at least do 18 hours of fasting. And I just want to quickly tell you about my experience with my vision recently. Um, <laughs> I'd say about a month ago, I started needing these glasses. And right about that same time, I went from an 18-hour fast to a 21 hour fast, just a couple more hours. And it was amazing because I not only notice significant changes in my focus and my memory, but also in my vision. Now there's not a tremendous amount of research in the area of improving your vision doing fasting. However, if you do a search online for this, you'll find quite a few people that have noticed improvements in their vision by doing fasting. So it's worth a shot. And if you yourself have experienced improvements in your vision, go ahead and comment below. If you're consuming foods high in lutein, for example, that would be in like in the cruciferous vegetables, you can also help reduce the risk of macular degeneration. So it's really important to consume nutrient-dense foods. The phytonutrients also protect against the oxidation damage from the high sugar. Now, I do want to mention one last thing that I almost forgot about. I'm going to create a little space here to tell you about it. If you start doing fasting, okay, and you feel that your vision is getting worse, that all that means is that you're not adapted to ketosis yet. That's all that means because it does take some time. Because when you get into this, you know, the goal is to burn the fat, right? And go away from burning your sugar. So we want to make this transition. In the process, it could take some time if you have insulin resistance. So it could take a week, two weeks, three weeks, four weeks. If you're doing sort of keto or partial keto and you're not fully adapted, you may not see improvements in your vision because your blood sugars might still be up and down. One of the big symptoms of blurriness or loss of vision is hypoglycemia, low blood sugar. And the way to solve that is to switch over and start burning fat as fuel. And that way you don't have to be dependent on the ups and downs of the blood sugars anymore. 
because you're tapping in the fat fuel. But to do this, you have to do ketosis consistently and you want to start fasting because both the combination of fasting and low carb is what will help your vision. When I was in my 20s, I had bloodshot eyes and underneath my eyelids, they were all bloodshot. They were dry. I had a lot of problems with my eyes. Little did I know that was blood sugars. I didn't know about keto back then, but I do know now that having a blood sugar problem will definitely dry your eyes out, make you dehydrated, make the eyes very, very sensitive, almost like there's sand in the eyes. And I had a lot of issues with my vision. But coming full circle, it's amazing how my eyes are so much better than they were when I'm in my 20s. I'm 30 right now. No, I'm just kidding. I'm actually almost 55. So my eyes are much, much better simply because of the keto and intermittent fasting. All right. Thanks for watching.